I'm here at the Kanayo Natural Area Reserve on Maui where we have relatively intact dry land forests with many rare and endangered plant species. But we also have a lot of weed types and one of the major weeds here is Shinus terbanthifolius as you can see behind me or otherwise known as Christmas berry. The conventional method for controlling shyness within this area is what's called a hack and squirt. Here we have a complete girdle around the base of the tree and then that's followed with the spray application of high concentration of Garlon 4 with a diesel carrier. This method of application is quite effective in controlling Christmas berry but is time consuming and labor intensive. In October of 2009, we tried to determine if we could come up with a simpler method for treating shyness. And this method I like to call an incision point application. It uses a heavy cane knife or hatchet and a metered syringe to apply the herbicide. And instead of applying a girdle completely around the tree, we just make simple cuts at the base of the tree with the metered syringe applying a concentrate of the herbicide. For this experiment, which was about 150 days ago, we looked at three different chemistries with this approach. One was Garlon 4 Ultra, which is the conventional herbicide. The active ingredient is triclopyr. The other herbicides were Stalker with the active ingredient Imazapyr and Milestone VM with the active ingredient Aminopyrrolid. And so with that, with the methods that we applied, we made four incision points around the tree and then applied one ml of a full concentrate of that herbicide with no carrier. Garlon 4 as an incision point application was our least effective treatment. In conventional methods, Garlon 4 has proven to work but uses high doses. In this case, the incision point is too low of a dose to show any real symptoms of injury or necrosis. The Mazapir treatment is showing to be more effective than the Garlon treatment as an incision point application. We notice apical tip burning, which is a classic symptom of a Mazapir. We also notice for many of the treated specimens, over 50% of the canopy has defoliated. Now what's also interesting to note is that this is the conventional herbicide used for controlling shyness in Florida. Our best treatment so far for this experiment has been milestone with the active ingredient aminopyrrolid with many of the treated specimens showing severe canopy defoliation. So just to reiterate, we're showing Garlon 4, the conventional herbicide, showing the least activity in controlling shyness. Milestone was our most effective treatment, showing severe canopy defoliation, while Amazapir, which is the conventional herbicide in Florida, showing about 50% canopy defoliation.